all right guys this is az homegrown again here with kind of an update uh, if any of you all have been keeping up with my videos at all or watching any of them you may have seen that uh, i've been kind of wanting to get my own stars going instead of uh you know sacrificing other fireworks um so uh, i finally decided to put my order in and uh you know basically the chemicals that i got uh were kind of directed towards the valine color system so as a start i figured that was the best way to go it seems to be the uh you know kind of the easiest for beginners i mean maybe not necessarily easy but relatively simple uh, not so hard to understand and and you can basically do your stars in them multiple forms whether they're rolled pressed cut um you know whatever that may be so um that's another benefit of them so basically what i got here is uh to start i got a pound of air float charcoal i got a pound of magnalium which is a 50 50 mix uh 200 to 325 mesh um the valine system calls for uh the 200 mesh but uh, I couldn't find that. I looked all over, and uh, so I finally stuck with that one after doing a little research. Uh, people said that would probably be fine, so uh, I went with it, and, uh, you know, I did get a chance to test it, and the results were good. I don't know if it, uh, what kind of effects a smaller mesh would would have um one thing i notice is the stars are very bright kind of has that white strobe look in the background of it and that may be due to the uh the size of the the magnalium but regardless still works out real nice looks good um next we got our barium nitrate and i got barium carbonate red gum red iron oxide i have chlorinated rubber parlon basically um potassium dichromate, uh, black copper oxide or cupric acid, um, strontium carbonate, and potassium perchlorate. And you can see up here, I got some of them in my jar. So, uh, you know, I just think it's a neater way of uh, keeping everything organized, you know, looks nicer and, you know, you don't have as much sticking to the sides of the bag like you get with the way they're packaged now. Um, so all around, I you know, I like the jar system. helps it helps keeps things uh, organized. Because <laughs> otherwise, I can get a bit chaotic as far as my organization goes. It's not the best to say the least. And so as we go over here, you can see um, the stars that I've made as of yet. The first one I wanted to do was the Valine Blue, because well, blue is one of my favorite colors, and I really like the way it looked in different videos that I've watched. As you can see, I've used more of these up than my others, so um, after that, I made uh, the Valine Green, which I got a lot of these right now, and then I have the Valine Red, and then I have here is my attempt at uh, color changing stars can't quite see through the jar so well but uh, these are actually ended up being quite a bit bigger because I took some of my blues and coated them in the composition from the green so uh, they, they got pretty big uh, but uh, I kind of like that I'm gonna use them in a uh, I, I believe I'm gonna use them in a ring shell so I, I feel that the bigger stars will will do well for that type otherwise you know using it uh, in a standard peony type or whatever what have you you know uh, it just wouldn't be as dense, you know, as I would like to be or as, you know, others that you typically see. So, I mean, unless you're using a much bigger shell, but as far as like three inch and below, you know, it wouldn't work out the greatest to say the least. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update and give you guys a look at what I purchased. So, uh, kind of give you insight into things to come here. Um, I'm going to be putting up a few videos um, of some tests that I've done. Uh, you know, I did a few tests uh, with the powder um, packed or the composition packed into Lance tubes uh, before I actually, you know, put my started making my stars. Uh, 
you know, I read that method on Skylighter. They uh, had sent an email and talked about that. So I figured, you know, it seemed like a good idea rather than making a whole batch of stars and not having them come out right. You know, I could test it that way and get a good look and, uh, you know, see how they're going to be before I put that time and, and effort into getting my stars together. So, you know, I'm really excited. You know, it's this is the one thing that I've been wanting to do for so long, uh, you know, to make me actually feel like a real pyro for once, uh, you know, rather than just kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I guess I don't know the word to describe it, but bottom line is I now feel like uh, I can actually consider myself a, a, a pyrotechnician, to say the least. So, um, you know, I appreciate everyone who subscribes. You know, uh, that's awesome. Uh, anyone who does choose to subscribe, I'll subscribe back. You know, uh, yeah, I'm always trying to, you know, spread my, my videos and, you know, whatever knowledge I may have in one way or another, you know, to other pyros, you know, whether they're starting out or whatever and trying to learn from those who have much more experience. So, um, but yes, uh, for those of you who have subscribed, I really appreciate it. Um, anyone that would like to like my videos, uh, comment, uh, new subscriptions, be awesome, uh, really appreciate everything, you know, uh, I guess that's kind of it as far as this, uh, video goes or the portion of this, and, uh, I think I'm going to attach my, uh, star test, um, at the end of this video, so, uh, thanks for watching.